Megumi here. Welcome back to the next episode of the series of if you've ever wondered what happens when you put a sim racer that's never driven a real life race car into a real life race car, well this happens. For some folks it may be hard to believe but they might actually do well, which was my case. And now I'm even more enthralled with the auto racing than I've ever been and I want more. So let's go on a little journey and experience my driving school from April of 2024. Brought to you by Grass Paddock Motorsports. Megumi here. Today we have day two, session three practice. We are working on doing race starts. So I believe we do maybe four or five practice starts for, you know, simulating the start of an actual race. So we lined up on grid according to our day one fastest lap time. running with the car, the spruce sway bar unhooked, and also not using second gear, of course, which is going to hurt. It's going gonna, it's gonna to teach me a valuable lesson for the actual mock race we do, like starting, I definitely need to be in second gear, but since we had talked about dangers of going from second to third and going into first and blowing the motor up. Didn't want to do that. So pretty much I had a yield position each time when we did the uh, starts against the uh, silver Mazda that Greg was driving. Oh yeah, and if you ever wonder what that beep is, that's the uh, temperature gauge. It goes off at 221 degrees to let you know that, hey, you're, you're getting up there on temperature. For some reason, this car runs a little bit hotter than the others. So we want to make sure we're looking at that gauge or digital readout, which is, you can't really see it because it's right behind the steering wheel on the dash. But anyways, as we can see the pace of the car, <laughs> yeah, getting a little... And see, I wanted to be uh, getting used to being real close to the car ahead and in formation, side by side. are out on the pace car. Uh, me and Greg are side by side, but we're waiting on the leaders to get side by side. See a swap turns coming up. We want to be in formation. The rest of the field's got to stack up too. Oh, I really wish I was in second gear for this. It's got to be a lot closer to the BMW whole lot closer. Look at the flag. Fog central. Look how much position I give up just from bogging. Also didn't help with the Venus motor was not working so the variable valve timing was not there. That lost torque hurts. If I remember correctly we do two green flag laps and then we throw caution to restack the field. So we're gonna do this a few times and then we eventually go to doing a full-on once it goes green, it goes green for a few laps to give a simulated race.
they're going to invert the field while we're sitting on pit road. I'm going to go ahead and cut this portion of the video out so we're just not sitting here forever. We're just tighten them belts. Feel so much better being nice and snug in the car. Once again, we go into Bog Central, but the BMW best up there. So if you notice that there's the, the white painted line on the front stretch, that is the track limits. And unfortunately, since I'm in Bog Central, he has so much more horsepower, he can just go around me like it's nothing. Uh, he decided to go in that part of the track, so he was technically off track, making a quote-unquote illegal pass, so he gets black flagged, unfortunately. We didn't know that. As from what I can recall, we were never told about, you know, the white line is track limits. If you go beyond that, it's disqualification, yada, yada, yada. So we learned that the hard way, I say. We talked about it at the driver's meeting afterwards.
slick tires, but I don't think we have a track bar hooked up yet, if I remember correctly. Now we're going to do, I think, one more restart and then we race to the end of the session. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the part of the video where I'm just sitting here on pit lane.
That was a blast. So that last session where we uh, did the third restart was a hoot and a half. Made some really good passes. Greg was on my rear a few car lengths back for pretty much the entirety of that session. And he had just messed up uphill on that last lap and then outbreaked himself a little bit into turn six, which allowed me to completely clear away from him. Oh, that, this, this session was a, an amazing amount of fun. And as always, remember to wave to the folks that are working the quarter marshals, track workers, and event staff. Once again, they're volunteering for this. Now, if you're looking for a driver's school, you know, definitely look into Waterford Hills. I can't state it enough how amazing it was. The amount of track time we got was impressive. The overall school structure was amazing. All the driving structures that we had that were giving tips and pointers. You know, it was fantastic. You can't go wrong if you come out to Waterford Hills for your driver's school. Here's the Grass Paddock Motorsports team. This is Trenton Kramer in his very own car where he got his first win at, ironically, Waterford Hills. He's a great mechanic. He works extremely hard. And if you're using him to take care of your vehicle or you just happen to be in contact with him with Crest Paddock Motorsports, you're in good hands. Now this guy right here in the middle of the photo, that's Frank Swartz. He's the owner and operator of Grass Paddock Motorsports. And like I said earlier before, big thank you to Frank for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it because without that little nudge, I would have never done this and got out in a real car. So I appreciate that little nudge a lot. So if you're in the market to hop into racing, a fantastic way to do that is to rent a ride. And Frank rents out rides all across the nation in V-Spec Mini Coopers. You can head over to his website at www.grasspaddock.com. Here's his cute little doggos, corgis. It took me almost two months to edit all of this. My computer was having a rough time. But I still can't believe it. I finally got to drive a race car in real life. See you in the next episode of What Happens When You Put a Sim Racer That's Never Driven a Race Car Into a Real Race Car Before. So, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you like my content, feel free to subscribe. This is Megumi. Thanks for watching.